Hey guys, it's me Shen. I'm back with a new video after what seems like forever. I'm gonna be doing my makeup today for a ballet that I'm going to be watching. I was thinking of kind of doing like a clean girl kind of type makeup look. I guess I've been kind of doing the clean girl makeup look on days where I just want to kind of look fresh and feel fresh. So let's get into it. The first thing that I'm gonna be starting off with is toner and um, serum. For this makeup look, we really really want to get that very glowy skin. So you want your skin to be super super moisturized and very ready for all the cream based products that we're going to be putting on. So the first thing that I'm going to be using is this. It's the Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer from Laneige. Because it's a toner and a moisturizer, I can just use right to my hands. Spread it all over the face. It's great. I'm going to pat it into my skin. Then I'm gonna go in with Laneige Water Bank Hydro Essence Just a moisturizing serum It smells really good I don't even know whether it really works But it smells so good that I just kinda I always like <laughs> I mean take a few like whiffs of it Because it smells so good, it smells like milk Like already you can see like my skin is starting to glow Next up is moisturizer. So I'm actually running low on my Fenty moisturizer, which I love. It has like SPF in it, and I think it's it works great under makeup, especially. Oh my god! I just broke the whole thing inside. Oh no! Okay, never mind. You could afford to go for like a like a creamier uh, moisturizer, so that you can really get that you know lit from within kind of glow. So let's get straight into makeup. I'm gonna start with foundation. This one is the one from Hourglass in the shade Shell. So I'm just gonna use my foundation, kind of like a concealer. Because we want to kind of have that like, your skin but better look. I have like two of these brushes, one for like blush and bronzer and one just for foundation so they don't mix. I love this foundation stick. I kind of was a little skeptical with foundation sticks at first because like they, they seem kind of unsanitary, right? But the formula in this one is so like it just glides onto your skin so smoothly and it, it just looks great. And usually any like leftover on my brush, I'm just gonna go over my eyes with it. In all honesty, I don't think that this um makeup look is the most like long wearing but it's quite natural so even when it fades it doesn't really seem very obvious before blush i am just gonna go in and bronze up my face i kind of still do like that like sun kiss look but i'm not in singapore anymore where the sun is constantly out and shiny shiny shining so like i've gotten a bit fair a bit vampire -y. so makeup is the only way I can make up for it. This is the Bionic Bronzer from Milk Makeup. I've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury one but it keeps getting sold out. So I'm just gonna very lightly, a little bit on the cheeks, just a bit on the eyes and I'm just gonna blend it out. A bit on the nose as well. I think that instantly like just brings like a halo like glow onto your face it just feels like you've been out in the sun so i've been like crazy about spf recently because like i've been getting like these like freckles on like the back of my hands and i've been like freaking out about them after we finish blending our bronzer we're gonna go in with blush so i got like a gazillion blushes during black friday so now i have difficulty choosing between my faves but today i'm gonna go with one of my favorites also from the Vanish collection, I also have the highlighter which I'm gonna use later on but um, this is the Vanish blush stick in the shade Loyal. I prefer instead of like focusing on like the apples on my cheeks to kind of just bring it higher up a little bit and so that gives me that kind of like lifted look. Kind of like where, where you would put highlighter, I put my blush and then I'm gonna put it on the nose because I like that like sun-kissed look. So I'm just gonna kind of like just tap it into my skin kind of like mimicking what you would do with your fingers I guess so not so much like brushing and dragging more of like like tapping just tap 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 
what is that sound? Is that, is that like an airplane? Then I'm gonna go in and just put a little bit of the same color on my lids. So I'm gonna lastly just go in with my um, highlighter stick. This one is in Champagne Flash. I'm just gonna do it with a light hand because I don't want to shift too much of the product around. I've been kind of hesitant with highlights that are too glittery. But this one is like nice and gentle other than like I have sequins on my face. <laughs> So then the next thing that I'm gonna do is set my face a little bit. So I actually found this uh, setting powder which is from By Terry and basically it has hyaluronic acid in it. Even though it is a powder, um, it still gives you a lot of hydration and it doesn't make you look very very dry. So I just kind of dab it into my... Just kind of like this little triangle over here. So that nothing like just drops downwards and smudges under the bottom of the eye. Okay, so when I was younger, I, I kind of like waxed my eyebrows like way too much. So I think this part of my eyebrow was a bit like, like broken. <laughs> so, so like now it gets really, really shiny. So I just like to set this, like just the top of my eyebrows. I like to go around my nose and just a bit on my chin. The next step that I'm gonna be doing is to line my eyes. So I'm just gonna be tight lining it, just the outer corner. And don't worry to be a bit heavy handed, just gonna blend it with my fingers and this is like super easy for any like beginner also. And then I'm also just gonna go in with a q-tip and kind of clean up a little bit and then I'm just gonna extend the line up just a smidge and then bring it back in. And then I'm gonna go in and blend again with my fingers. And you kind of want it to go slightly higher, so don't worry about it. Clean it up and just drag it out just a bit. So I kind of like to keep my eyes open as I do my eyeliner, so they kind of you kind of you can like see where exactly it sits. I'm thinking whether I should do lashes. Um, I might. What I like about this pencil, it's like not super like long lasting but it's very blendable so it's very easy for you to like create the smoky winged liner which i'm kind of into right now then i'm just gonna take a little bit of blush this is warm soul by mac and just go under my under eyes i guess in this look like less is more and if you want just a bit just to give a little bit more color Okay, so now I'm gonna start doing my lashes. Honestly, somebody didn't like to me. Do I like do I do my mascara first, then put the lashes on? Or like put the falsies on? Or do I put the falsies on then the mascara? Like I don't I don't even know. I just got these other lashes and I just cut them in half. I'm just gonna apply them onto the outer three quarters of my eye. I know they look crazy. Give it a second. So I'm just gonna take the first mascara I see, which is the new milk makeup. That weird noise is back. What is that? It's like I don't even think there are airports near here. I'm just trying it out. I got it on sale, so I don't really know whether I like it yet. But I'm just gonna focus on the inner corner, trying not to touch the falsies itself, it's just kind of blend it together. I have like zero under eye lashes, so that basically does nothing. Then the last step I would do is just touch up my blush just a smidge, because more blush is always good. Just kind of set it just a bit. Add a bit of lip balm on, so I'm just gonna... And last but not least, I am gonna line my lips. I honestly don't really know. I'm just trying to talk while I'm lining my lips. Don't really know, like, like how to line your lips. I'm, I just kind of blend out the edges afterwards. I don't really need like a very strong, like outline anyway. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite lipstick. This is Vic very Victoria by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna blend it again with my fingers. My fingers. 
so that is the entire video. I am finally done with my makeup. I think my hair is fine. I will get changed. <laughs> I might put a gloss on, but this is it for now. I hope this fits into the clean girl category. I know like usually what they do is like, they recommend like tying your hair up and then wearing like hoops and stuff. But I hate having my hair tied up. Like, hate it. I think my head looks like an egg. Like, and my hairline is like so fucked up. Like, what the fuck is that? I am not gonna be tying my hair up. Maybe I'll put on some hoops, but we'll see. It's, I'm a bit lazy, honestly. And yeah, thanks for watching. And um, let me know if you wanna see more makeup tutorials in the comments below. And um, I know it's very cringy, but um, like, comment, and subscribe. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.